address recent comments and criticisms that I've received. I know this video. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm dude. I, I'm not. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not exactly. Okay. And criticisms that I've received. I know this video is long overdue, and I planned a vacation for around this time, but I honestly should not have taken any time off prior to acknowledging or addressing or apologizing for these things. Not only that, but I should have properly apologized when the incidents actually occurred. It shouldn't have taken me this long to come to a proper understanding of how to handle these situations and how to apologize for that. But I hope that I can do that today. So I have a list of topics I want to address and I'll go through them one by one. Guys, guys, that I guys, don't sleep on me chat. This is fine. This is fine. I think I think this is powder on the fire. I want to give my perspective on and also something that I need to apologize for. So I hope that you can watch the video in its entirety and form your own opinion. Okay, chat. Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, guys, no, this is not even drama. Last time when the video came up dude, about the Pokemon thing, dude, I thought all these things were already addressed because it was so old. And we thought I was simping it. Because they didn't watch the stream or they know my actual takes. But I just got bored because all these topics are like the exposed were already exposed. Firstly, there was an incident back at the end of 2018 where me and Keemstar had an argument over Twitter. And a YouTuber by the name of Boblox took screenshots of these tweets and then uploaded them kind of as an archive on uh, YouTube. And at the time, my MCN told me that because they are screenshots of my tweets that I can have the video taken down and Keemstar had deleted his tweets. I didn't want the drama to snowball Wait, that true? into something more. And I honestly regretted even starting an argument in the first place. So I agreed and the video was taken down. This was my mistake because at the time I didn't consider the fairness of leaving that video up as well as not properly understanding the fair use defense when it comes to transformative content. So when this happened, Boblox was understandably upset. Once I saw his tweets and comments regarding the situation and how he felt, I messaged him privately and we tried to resolve things in DMs. Later on, okay. uh, in January of 2019, other people had heard of the situation without knowing that I had approached Boblox privately. Chat, we had chat, approached... chat. Analytically, good chat. I like to talk about stuff out. If you do a one take video, it's fucking pog. Okay. You go, go back chat and watch my apology videos about what I did in the past. One take, one attempt, one try, no script, straight out the wazoo. Boom. And that hits hard, dude. Why? Because you're not like a, hey guys, and today I want to, talk about something that I care about a lot. And hopefully everybody can be on my side. That's really bad. Spoken about it. So it became a much larger, more public issue. Pokemon. She striked this video called Keemstar vs. Pokemon Twitter fight. Someone decided to put these two videos together and upload it on YouTube. So basically this Twitter drama became an even bigger drama thanks to the YouTube algorithm. So in a way, I can understand why you want to take down this video. But the problem here is that you're just drawing more attention to it. And frankly, my apology at the time was not very good or was not good enough, period. So I just want to reiterate that I'm sorry for taking down that video. And since then, I have not taken down any videos like that. And I've genuinely tried to learn from my mistakes. Alongside this, there's Fair another enough. incident that I frequently see people use clips of where I'm talking to someone about having their video removed. Anyways, I'll be taking down some of your videos, but <gasps> yeah, I just hope you stop <gasps> doing this. And oh I would just God. like to add in some additional context prior to discussing this situation. Pokimane pregnant. <laughs> Dude, this actually Pokimane twerk live on stream. <laughs> So why do you do this when you make these videos and you like talk about my butt or me being pregnant or whatever and you know it's like all fake or you know that oh, you're trying actually. to use like No, it's just a clickbait in the fucking title. Yeah, how does it like why do you falsely clickbait? 
Yo, this was the easiest clickbait, bro. Do I sound mean? Yes, that's why I'm trying to talk to you. So as you can see, this person was re-uploading my content or my stream. Guys, but then adding guys, really... th this is pretty trashy, chat. But you know what, chat? I've actually DM'd some people and sent them an email and be like, Hey man, that was kind of dog shit. Don't do that. And they didn't do it again. I, I, think, that, I think that's a good way to resolve things. Sexual, gross, or just misleading titles. And I had some of these sorts of videos taken down back then, uh, but only because they were my content or my stream re-uploaded. Unfortunately, this has led to people assuming that I take down videos of people criticizing me. Behind the scenes, she actively tries to censor the internet. And by the internet, I mean anything negative about her. People have made videos about her, and she's copyrighted. Oh, not this them. again. This goes on and on. If you make a video that is negative about her, she's going to try to gun you. Copyright claiming on YouTube is used as censorship. And for Pokimane, this seems to be the case a lot of the time. This is something that I've never done. If someone puts in the time and effort it takes to create a video where they're talking about me, regardless of how positive or negative it is, or if they use clips of me, that is very clearly transformative content and I would never take down content like that. The other incidents were a bit more complicated because it was situations where people were re-uploading content of mine or something that I put out there. Regardless, I still handled those situations badly and I regret the way that I handled them and I'm sorry for the way that I handled them, but I just wanna make it really clear that I fully support transformative content. It's an amazing creative outlet and it allows people to make a living off the internet in chat. the same way that I've been. Chat, I asked that last time, chat. I said, of course we support, dude. Just what we kind of, we fucking yoinked the fuck out of it, dude. We... So Breakfast, to dinner, My lunch, dude. Of what should or shouldn't be taken down on YouTube two years ago was not well informed, and I've tried really, really hard to learn from my mistakes and not make the same mistakes. And since then, I stopped allowing my MCN to take down videos on my behalf. And the only exception nowadays is when, let's say for example, the super I do a cooking stream and I want to re-upload that cooking stream on my YouTube. Because my stream is public and my vlogs are public, people can also take that same content and re-upload it. It's at the, the same super time. yoinks. And with the YouTube algorithm, usually this means that one video is pushed and the other is kind of yes. suppressed because they're the same piece of content. Finally, um, dude! Have I not told you guys this has been done before? Have I not told you guys that I didn't have a problem with the void, the vod, the void, the... <laughs> with the vod yoinkers? And the vod yoinkers weren't the problem. The vod yoinkers problematic ones are the ones that WANG! That... Oh my god, this just happened? And you're like, dude, what the fuck, man? Like, don't race me there, dude. And one person, like an audience, will usually not watch both because they're the same thing. So only under those very specific and pretty rare circumstances am I kind of forced to take down the duplicate content of mine. But again, this does not all apply to if someone's talking about me or criticizing me. That is entirely their content. I would never touch it. Sorry this is a bit of a nuanced topic, but I hope I properly explained myself and added some transparency to the situation. And if I have to clarify okay. anything in the future... This has been sort of reasonable so far. Secondly, there was a recent incident where I was on stream and I watched a video made by It's a Gundam. And I made some remarks that I shouldn't have and that I'm very sorry for. And I'd like to provide context and then apologize for what I Well, how am I simping? So the part of the video that I watched was him talking down on my fans and he was showing some tweets that were very clearly jokes but talking about them as if they're facts. I hope people know that tweets like this are a joke. In hindsight, I can totally understand how if someone was unsure of its legitimacy, it could be pretty upsetting to see something like this. I also want to remind people that I... Or what a minute, what a minute. Uh, well, how is that upsetting? Fans, as if they're facts. I hope people know that tweets like this are a joke. In hindsight, I can totally understand how if someone was unsure of its legitimacy, it could be pretty upsetting to see something like this. I also want to remind people that I, or any streamer, does not want you to donate if you can't afford it. Everyone should always take care 
of themselves and their families first. And I try really hard to regularly say the same thing when I'm streaming as well. Back to the video. While he had this joke chat, tweet pulled chat. up, he- Guys, I agree chat. If you didn't donate there, donate here instead. Also had a very real photo of a fan with me at a meet and greet. And he was making fun of them and the way that they look. Here we have this gentleman right here. This guy is totally alpha. So, this guy who looks like a Pixar animated character. Oh, God, I love this guy's face. He's like a gnome. Dude, he doesn't even have wrists. Good Lord. He can't wear a watch. That's and pretty rude. I've been mocked countless times for my appearance, but I understand that's part of putting myself out there on the internet. It just felt so unfair to see that happen to an innocent fan who didn't write this tweet, had nothing to do with the situation, and so in my opinion just didn't deserve it. And I got really caught up in that feeling and I was so bothered and also bothered by people's potential perceptions when seeing this video. And I must admit, I reacted really poorly. This led me to making some comments questioning why the video was sponsored. But regardless of my opinion on the content, that's not okay. And I'll do better when sharing my concerns without having to comment on any part of the video that isn't the actual content of the video. I want to sincerely apologize to both its Chat. fandom and Chat. to the sponsor of that video. Chat. For... Chat. In, in my opinion, I think I heard Disney talk about this and I, I kind of agreed, dude. If YouTube, had, they have to take sponsors of the videos because monetization is trash, right? And I don't mind ever YouTubers taking sponsorships because, you know, they have to do it. It's just fine. But if somebody makes a drama video, dude, and, and they have a sponsor, a lot of times it's kind of like, uh, I don't think anybody should go out of their way to like uh, take them away from their sponsor or whatever or anything. Like, because the sponsor probably doesn't like that either. The sponsor might not re re-sponsor or, or, or re-campaign that individual. It, they kind of cancel themselves by by doing a, like a pure drama video on that sponsored. Or the remarks and comments that I made, I completely understand people's concern for going after someone else's livelihood, especially in a time like this. And I wouldn't want to see that sort of thing happen to someone else. I also don't want to see that sort of thing become a larger tactic or trend on YouTube. So again, I'm very, very sorry. And I'll make sure that in the future, if I am to comment on any part of a video, it's just its actual contents, not the sponsors, and also not to encourage my community or my viewers to leave any sort of negative feedback. I sometimes see a clip and a tweet circulating from the past where Ooh. I said the word. I believe the tweet is from about five years ago and the clip from about seven years ago. And although I never said it with ill intent or racial context or the hard R, I still want to make it clear that I don't condone the use of that language. And I don't want my deletion of these things or my silence now to make it seem otherwise. I've commented on this in the past, but honestly, my statement or comments then weren't even good enough, even though people were very understanding. I just want to make it clear that I am genuinely so sorry if I hurt or offended anyone with what Wait, I said. Chat, are people actually mad about this? I always wondered. Because I feel like people post it as like a meme. I really wish I could go back and tell I don't think mad about that. The past. Unfortunately, I can't, but I do hope that my behavior in regards to language for the last couple of years and onwards will speak for itself. There are some final points I'd like to quickly touch on. Uh, although they're not as important as the aforementioned things, they are just topics that have been frequently brought up and kind of intertwined with more important criticisms. I've seen a lot of people talk about the way that I look recently. Just want to put it out there. I don't think I'm the prettiest person in the world, but I think that's okay. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. As an online personality or content creator, there's quite a lot of pressure to look perfect all the time. And I feel like it's created a bit of um, a culture that is really detrimental to the self-esteem of honestly just about anyone that has social media. So I don't at all regret the no makeup streams or photos I've posted in the past. I want to make it really clear to anyone out there that it's okay not to look Instagram ready all the time. And that- Chat, I took that tip a long time ago, chat. Look at this. Today, chat, I'm Instagram ready, chat. Look at this. You can be perfect, perfect baby, both the just for you, chat, and the way that you look on a bad day. 
both versions of you are perfectly okay. I personally made the decision seven years ago or whenever I got into streaming that I don't want my personal life to be a part of my content. In general, relationship stuff is stuff that I don't like to talk about outright. Because even when I'm single, like, imagine how many people would care, and then if I got into a relationship, even- I'll actually go with that. What is going on in my relationship, and if I had a relationship, I would want it to just be, like, between me and that person, and not- Guys, I have to agree with that. Giving their unwanted opinion and advice, and, and the, the thought of that just makes my brain boom. And that's just what I'm gonna stick by. Because of shipping Andes. I and whoever I'm dating at whatever time decide otherwise. For me, this also creates a healthier divide between my work life and my personal life, which is an area where the lines are already pretty blurred. I understand some people want to relate this to donations, but you could also argue that one can make a lot okay. of money by public- Chat, this is gonna be a hot take. Ready, chat? This is something that I've said, not even in anybody's defense, as a whole, ready? It, if you have like a super out there relation, whatever, right? The problem is that no human is perfectly reasonable. No, no, no partner whatever will be like always and, and never cave into outside pressure. If let's say, I don't know, you're late all the time or like or you're spending somewhere, you post a picture somewhere, they'll say, oh dude, um, look man, um, uh, he's late. Cause he's spending time with her and not us. Like, yeah, man. And then, and then people go to and say, yo, you like, you taking him away from us, dude. Yikes, blah, blah. And people put a lot of pressure on that person, right? And that person brings the concerns back. And I'm like, and and and, and then you, you, and then it becomes like a, like a thing. And you, you let like third parties and people that are outside the, the interaction actually create a wedge in between the, the people. And I feel like there was a lot of that with, um, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say who, but in the past, in the wreckful era, there was a lot of that. And then people, I know, I know this will sound crazy. I think uh, almost every streamer, literally almost all the big streamers all learned from th these instances and everybody got better at it. Load, uh, uh, Soda and Leah, uh, uh, probably Wreckful and Blue, probably. Uh, there's a bunch where people created wedges and people did. And uh, you can you can push the dono argument. I, I, I don't mind it. That also does make sense. That argument, it's not even a bad argument. The dono, the dono argument makes a lot of sense as well. And I can see how that could pass as, as well as well. But that is, I think, it's a higher concern. But you could also argue that one can make a lot of money by publicizing the relationship or making content out of it. And neither of these things are wrong at all. I'm happy for others, whatever lifestyle they choose. I just personally feel like everyone has a right to privacy. I personally want to be able to experience my relationships without the scrutiny of an online audience. And if you disagree, that's totally all right. Um, you don't have to support me or my content. React content is very guys, popular. Guys, hey, imagine you go, you, you go live on stream, you go live in the morning. Yo, bro. Dude, you're like, were you tapping that ass, bro? And you're like... Twitch and on YouTube. Whether oh, it's to? good content, bad content, transformative or lazy is understandably up for debate. I can't say with certainty one way or the other. All I can say is that I do my best to cares? engage it's kind of annoying, whatever though. content is on my stream. And honestly, oftentimes to the point of annoying my viewers. Anyways, back to the video. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say, and it's not the first time that people have said mom. I saw, oh my God, that reminds me of something. That's Captain Bucky so had a brutal cool. fight, but Steve is able. He thinks his friend dies. Well, the odd tracer game, so he. Again. Pausing Polina. <laughs> Some days it's just nice to have a chill, relaxing stream <laughs> with your chat. Oftentimes I'm recording with offline TV or other collabs or other influencers. And so being able to do that is a nice balance in content or a nice break per se. After the copyright controversy, I've been especially cautious of this. The only content I ever leave up on my stream if I'm not actively present and engaging with it is either my videos or offline TV videos. To end things I off, again, stars. I'm really sorry that this video is late. Despite my planned break, I should have addressed these things sooner or I should have addressed these things as the incidents individually occurred, or better yet, 
the incidents shouldn't have occurred in the first place. I need to be better in facing things head on and just doing better in general. There was a lot of guilt during my time off and it helped me better reflect on things. I have, of course, a responsibility to myself to take care of my mental health, but I also have a responsibility to all okay. of you to improve and to just be a better example. <sighs> so overall, I really do feel like I let some things get to me that I shouldn't have. And I hope that moving forwards, I can just be appreciative of the amazing community I have and the platforms that I have. And I also want to add that I know criticism is bound to come in many different Damn. ways. Damn! I just really want to thank anybody that discussed any of these topics in a constructive manner. Reading your comments or thoughts genuinely helped me better understand my wrongdoings, as well as just... That's a lot of his likes. So, Thank you. Thank you for listening. I hope I can do and be better for you all. Have a good day. Okay, chat. Guys, guys, here. I'm though this video, okay, chat, but here's my five head takes on apologies, okay? Guys, this is not even something that nobody told me, it's something that I kind of just learned, or maybe I learned by myself, dude. I don't mind the NPC voice in apology videos. Why? Because the bitches will use any tone and say, wow, they sound nonchalant. Wow, they don't even care. Um, wow, they don't believe that. And people will like, people will dismantle the apology, dude, and use your tone of voice against you all the time. If you're NPC-like, you're kind of like invincible, I feel, I, I, I feel like. Is this my apology video? It's eight minutes! Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, this is XQC from uh, the Dance Kill. Okay, I'm not watching this. I am not. 500k views! What happened? Today's video is going to be a little different uh, than other videos, obviously. Um, it's not something I want to do too often on this channel, obviously. But um, it's not something that nobody asked me to do. Uh, neither at Blizzard or Dallas Fuel, obviously. Not my owner, not my colleagues, not my teammates. It's something that really comes from me. And if I get into trouble for doing this, then so be it. So these are my thoughts about the whole situation with um, the punishment and the actual throwing and rank that I did and the suspension I've gotten, the seven days, and obviously the competitive ruling that is soon to come out, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I haven't talked to Blizzard about it, but, you know, some more consequences are coming, I'm pretty sure. Um... Oh, yo, chat. Say, I'm so proud of this chat. You guys will say hey, it's credits that I was so smart at the time. I went, I went ahead of the curve, and I made a video that I'm sure they didn't like that I posted it because I feel like I did not get a competitive ruling for this. I did not get a competitive ruling, and I did not get a, I don't think a, an actual sanction for this because I went ahead of time when nobody asked. I like to start off and say that. Um, obviously it was super deserved, and what I did was not okay, and nothing in this video will excuse my behavior. And I'm not trying to like, uh, make like a PR statement, this is really my side of the story, or my explanation to make things clear, because I think some things got clipped a little out of context, and people think that I'm disconnected from this situation, and I'm depressed, or I'm, I'm having like anxiety or something. Uh, people think I, I need like help or whatever, which is a little inaccurate. Um, so for both of those that don't know, um, I was playing uh, after I had like a really bad stream after like a long day of work, work, scrims, <laughs> and I threw uh, two rounds of cough on Bastion. I just played Bastion. Someone in my game was just trying to trigger me, trigger me on purpose, and I didn't react properly. I didn't react like I should have, and I didn't react like like someone who represents like a company or whatever, right? And um, okay, this is terrible. The punishment is going to be a little harder and harsher because of the size of the channel that we have now and the company that I represent and the status that we have on the league and whatnot. Um, obviously, I'm done with this. the main thread on the main Overwatch Reddit was pretty bad. Uh, 
just the clip timing and description on the thread, like like MBUS lost at Apex against uh, Rascal and uh, clipping the, the the me asking for an apology, which is which was obviously a joke, a joke that was probably in poor taste, a joke that I meddled too fast. Mm. Yeah, that was my living room. I'm, I'm done with this, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. Obviously the timing wasn't right to make something, some a joke like that, but everyone that knows me would know that it's some, it's the type of stuff that I would say on a daily. Uh, with the ego that I have, it's obvious that I was not gonna come out the next day and have like a full-blown apology in like a, what people wanted. And I knew I'd get into trouble for that as well, but you know, Sometimes I believe that it won't be that bad and it actually ends up being that bad. <laughs> worse. In that case, worse. Yeah, so it's pretty obvious. <clears throat> I feel really bad. All the teammates that were in my game, the people that are, were against me, and Rascal and whatever he had to deal with afterwards, which is probably people that like my channel that went out of their way and said bad things to him because of he, because uh, that he reported me, which is not okay. I mean, them going to him. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. What can I say? I was super tortured. For people that don't know me from since the beginning, uh, I've been streaming and playing for a long time. I've only been known for the last couple months, I guess, or the channel uh, grew bigger. But more like behind the scenes, it happened actually pretty often where I would play for like 16 or 18 hours back to back, and then I would just get upset about a game, and then I would do some really stupid stuff afterwards, such as uh, Hard Blue at some point. I was really upset at Hard Blue because he said something that was meaningless. And I went like to his Discord and I created like a big drama. And I did the same thing to Moon Moon. True. I did the same thing with Kefri. And it just like True. it's not because I want attention. It's not because I I'm a bad person or this or that. It just sometimes I see things escalate in my head and I just don't stop them. I just go through with it. And it's always something I can't I can't do now. I just can't let that happen. It's not that I I don't want to be myself. I'm I'll, I'll always be myself. This is something that. Some of you guys might not agree with. Uh, the way I act on stream, uh, believe it or not, uh, it's sort of okay. Like, it's just the way that I am. It's the way that I react to stuff and stuff. And it's the way that I want to remain. And I guess the league was okay with most of it, except stuff that is obviously out of line, such as, I mean, throwing, which is not something that I've ever done in the past. React since day one. After playing maybe uh, thousands and thousands of games, this was the first time that I've really felt like I was actually throwing, uh, which is- This is interesting. Okay, like I said earlier. Um, so yeah, back to the topic. After like long days and being like, you know, strained from rank and from the pressure, I tend to just, just let go. And that's not, not good. I should have just turned off the computer and did something else. And I didn't, so. You don't have to take my apology and, you know, make me feel, uh, make it seem like it's okay. I mean, it's not. And if I've lost, like, followers and, and whatever from that incident, then so be it. I'm ready to accept the consequences. I'm not, like, trying to evade anything or escape anything. It's done. So what I'll do next is just I'll do my thing. I'll... Play the game properly. I'll scrim. Yeah. Make content, videos, you know, stream. Hopefully, play on stage and remind myself, except that the stuff that is not okay. Yes. Yeah. It's an ongoing process of me trying to cut that thing out. I think it's not something that people look forward to on a stream. Me being like absolutely tilted and <laughs> saying ridiculous stuff. Ridiculous stuff is okay as long as like not out of line and offensive. Wait, was it at my door? 
Ridiculous stuff is okay. And saying ridiculous stuff. Ridiculous stuff is okay, as long as like not out of. Oh, somebody's at my door. And offensive. Um, oh no, I'm tip top. I'm I'm tip tapping. Yeah. I'm tip tapping. Yeah, I think nowadays I'm better at not doing um uh eh, uh eh, uh. Okay, I'll explain it. The chair thing, the chair thing is because the armrest is bad on that chair, and I want to have an armrest that was uh, an armrest that was you know like flat. So I made one. So I made I made one. <laughs>